welcome back to Why in the Morning. If it's Tuesday, it's Entrepreneurship Tuesday at Y254 channel. Is where you can find us across all our social media handles at Michelle Ashira. Is where you can find me across all my social. In this particular session, we dive into an interview that looks at transport and logistic business. In studio, I am joined by Roy Opumba, who is the founder of CN Logistics. Thank you very much, Roy, for creating time to be with us. Thank you so much. Uh, I hope I've pronounced the second name properly. It should be Opuba, not Opumba. Okay. But I'll forgive you for that. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much. So uh, for someone who is uh, joining us and uh, they're wondering, we have mentioned logistics, and they're wondering, what is logistics all about? Logistics is all about uh, transportation of goods from one point to another okay. in a layman's language. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. So for guys who li love ordering online, yes. there is a part where logistic is involved behind yes. the scenes. Yes, you see, in the in the supply in the supply chain industry, we have to have logistics because you have to move at least an item from one place to another, and so we, the logistic providers, we try to bridge that gap so that uh, you can have your item from any place across the world to your doorstep. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. So uh, before we even get into the, the transport and logistic yeah. business, uh, take us through uh, just a brief, briefly your story before you started this particular business. What was Roy doing prior? Uh, I started this business in 2017, but before that, I was employed in a, in a clearing and forwarding company. So after working for about uh, one year, I was employed from 2016 by a great gentleman, friend of mine. So the moment I quit the job, I decided, I think I have learned a few things in logistics. So I want to start my own. And because I believe that uh, the young people have a chance in, in building this country, I did not want to be uh, the guy who will want to sit down there and still, because writing CVs and sending job applications in Kenya is a bit tedious. I had learned a few things. So I decided to begin this company in 2017, and I think so far so good, we are moving well. All right. Yes. So how, how long did you work for one year before ah, you yes. started your company? I worked for one year. All right. Did you, did you feel the need to build more capacity in terms of this particular business, or were you confident enough that you were ready to start something of your own? The reason why I decided to start my own, because uh, as you under, I was not comfortable with the, the management that was at the place where I, where I worked. Mm -hmm. So uh, I looked at... I cannot quit this industry. I love it. It's something I have passion for. Mm -hmm. And I didn't want again to go to another place and always rub shoulders with the management. So I felt, let me be the management this time round. Mm -hmm. And I've been the management all through. Confidence yes. all the way. Yes. So what are a couple of services that CN Logistics offers? We offer freight services. That is both air, sea, and road. And we also offer customs uh, brokerage that is clearing and forwarding, as people know it. And we also offer warehousing services. All right. If you look at the market, right, there is so much of, uh, there are so many farms when it comes to transport and logistics. What is the gap that you saw that led you to start something of your own? And what is your niche in the market? Our niche in the market is looking at, uh, you see, in the, in the industry, they are, we have the big players, the multinationals, the big companies that have been here for 50 years, 100 years. But we, as seen logistics, we are looking at a tailor-made logistics services whereby we, we are able to talk to the customer one-on-one. -on -one. We are able to respond to emails within five minutes, 10 minutes. We are able to talk to the customers now through, through channels like WhatsApp messages. So through this, our biggest market is the SMEs people who are importing a few things from China, a few things from Dubai, Kenyans who are exporting uh, textile to the US, to the, to the UK. Actually, we are looking at the small SMEs as our biggest niche. Okay. All right. And who is eligible to start uh, this kind of business? Uh, what sort of educational background does one need to have? Uh, you, for you to have, a, we call ourselves uh, a third-party third party logistics company because we are non-asset based. We bridge the gap between the airlines, the forwarders, and, and the clients. Okay. So for you to start this business, I think first of all you need the wit, and you need, uh, you need to have the ability to, to have management. Because when you handle people's consignments, consignment is uh, goods, people are always going to be, it is, it is their business that you are handling their goods. Some people have invested a lot of money in this thing. So you must have honesty. 
you must have the good management that is time customer management and even the financial management and then for any youth you can always walk into the registrar and register company through the e-citizen mm -hmm. i think that is that is the first step it's pretty easy yeah and i believe honesty uh, it plays a very huge role because because you're dealing with the people's commodities yes and uh, then there's the issue of uh, uh, the company credibility being questioned if anything goes wrong. Yes. Then your clients, losing clients. So how do you go about uh, just uh, getting the right team to work with? Currently we are a team of nine. Over the last four years we have managed to, we, we, I began this company as one person. Right now we are having nine. We are hoping that maybe in the next, by the time we are doing our 10th anniversary, that is by our 10th year, we'll be doing at least 100. So we look at... Uh, we look at somebody who is ready to work, somebody who has passion for the company, not that somebody who has come to get a salary and walk away. Mm -hmm. Because when it comes to work, I, I, I am I'm usually a very easy person, I smile, but when it comes to work, I'm a bit strict. Because the customers in the company, customer is our number one priority, then employee number two, Mimi uh, as the owner, I come as the distance third. Mm -hmm. So if you have to work at CN Logistics, customer number one. Right. That sound very, you sound very disciplined in that sector, in, in, yes. in, your, in your area of work. So what are a couple of integration, inter, integration that you work with? Uh, what we do is uh, we, have, uh, we have several partners that we, because you see logistics as, a, as an industry, you're going to need partners across the world. Because if I have a shipment that is leaving Kenya mm -hmm. to, let me say, the U.S., North Carolina, Definitely, I'm not going to move from here to North Carolina. Absolutely not. But I'm going to have partners so that this shipment leaves Nairobi to Dubai, Dubai to New York, New York to North Carolina. So we have partners across. And uh, recently, we, we, have, we have launched a new product that is the road freight across East Africa. That is Rwanda, Burundi, and uh, South Sudan. We, are, we, are currently, we have gotten good partners across East Africa, and we believe that product of ours is going to change how people are going to do business across East Africa. Because if you look at the market that we have in East Africa, it's big, but it's never been tapped. Most of the people either we export to, to Europe and the US, mm -hmm. or we import from, from China, but we are not doing inter East African trade. Okay, Roy, hold that thought. We'll be right back and we'll be talking about how you actually uh, got to network with these people from, uh, from outside our borders. So that's the conversation that you guys stay tuned to. We'll be taking a quick commercial break and we'll be right back. Thank you.